Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations and the Patreon family we work in. Now, I'm not filing this under ego rumor mill because this is not a rumor that I really even like. I just heard about it, so I want to talk about it. You guys seen the title, and according to the rumor, they're talking about Jeff Horn making his first title defense, IBO welterweight title defense against Gary Corcoran, who has a record of 17 and 1 and seven knockouts for a whopping 39% KO ratio. Listen, I don't know what's up with the WBO. I don't know what's up with top rank. I personally do not want to see this fight. Like, listen, this is this is what I'm talking about. The game is so screwy. Like, shout out to top rank for getting Lomachenko rigged out done. Hell of a fight in December, December 9th. But these fights like this make no sense. Like, I understand, like, let's say Jeff Horn, he's a new champion, you want to build him, but the welterweight division is far, far too stacked to be pulling from the Gary Corcoran's. And, again, I don't even know who he is. And I was looking through his box rec, and I don't really recognize any of these names. The only name I do see is Liam Williams, and he was stopped in that fight by Liam Williams. Liam Williams, if you don't know, got stopped by Liam Smith, who Canelo pulverized and stopped. You know what I'm saying? So normally I don't do triangle theories, but in this case, when you don't really know the person, that's all I have. But I don't recognize any of the names that Gary Corcoran has fought, right? He fought Liam Williams, who got stopped by Liam Smith, and Liam Smith got stopped by Canelo. So that's what I'm kind of using to rank his pedigree. In addition, I just used the, the Canelo reference, meaning that fight was at 154. He fought, Liam, he fought Liam Williams at 153, so he dropped down. He's a guy who was fighting at higher weights, like 150 stuff, and then he dropped back down. So he's not even really a well. He's like basically forced to be a welterweight because the guys maybe at 53, 54, or whatever were too big for him or too strong, you know what I mean? So, Or maybe he felt there's better fights he can win, whatever. He dropped down. So... I don't want to see it. Like I said, it is crazy. I hope this fight don't happen. Who is Gary Corcoran? Who the fuck is this page of me at five in the AM Papa Lick? Like, who is Gary Corcoran? Honestly, in a stack of his, like I said, you want to build your fighter? There's other Brandon Rios, Diego Chavez. They're not necessarily top five in the division, but they at least have names. You know what I mean? Jeff Horn versus Brandon Rios. Danny Garcia said he'll fight you. You know what I'm saying? So why would Jeff Horn be pulling from Gary Corcoran? And again, I haven't looked at the WBO, their most updated rankings, but I'd be hard pressed to find Gary Corcoran as one of the top dogs. So Jeff Horn and Pacquiao, they're not fighting this year. It doesn't look like Bob Arum already ruled out Terrence Crawford, who's moving up to welterweight. That's a dead ringer. You know what I'm saying? So this also shuts down Jeff Horn's Errol Spence Jr. call out. And I'm going to explain why. Errol Spence is the IBF champion coming off a sensational win. His best, his best and biggest win against Kell Brook. And he called, Jeff Horn called him out. So if you fight somebody who's levels, like several levels below Errol Spence, to me that call out was fake. Because why would you allow your team to put in a Gary Corcoran if you really want an Errol Spence Jr.? So to me, and I told you that, Jeff Horn... He's with Duco Events, and I guess he works for top rank or whatever, but he's on that side of the fence. So who knows what their working relationship, Duco Events with Al Heyman, if they have ready-made fights and want to work together all the time. You know what I mean? So it's easy to call someone out when the logistics of the fight happening are fewer than fighting Gary Corcoran's or people on the top rank side. You know they do good business together or whatever. You know what I mean? So as far as I'm concerned, Jeff Horn, his Errol Spence Jr. call out, it sounded good, but that's not a true call out if you fight Gary Corcoran. 
again, how can it be? You can't call, like, if you said, oh, I want to fight Errol Spence, but then your team made the fight to fight Keith Thurman, then I, I wouldn't say nothing, because Keith Thurman's a hell of a, he actually has the most belts at welterweight. You know what I mean? But, like, let's say Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder openly called out champions, Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker. But Joseph Parker's fighting Huey Fury now. I mean, he wasn't when Wilder called him out, but that's who he's fighting now. Joshua's fighting his mandatory pool of, so he's taking the next available, which is Luis King Kong Ortiz, which was, I've told you for at least a month, but it was officially confirmed by Showtime Boxing and PBC. You know what I'm saying? Jermel Charlo, he's another person. He's fighting a 20-year-old Erickson Lubin, who really thinks he has the goods to, to, to win a title. You know what I mean? That's a dangerous fight for a title defense. That's his mandatory, I believe, but still he, he signed on the dotted line and that's it so it's like jeff horn is a champion and the welterweight division is just overall too stacked why not at least fight a guy with the name of luis Colazo, somebody amir khan and jeff horn but gary corcoran like get out of here man I, so i hope this fight doesn't materialize if it does then like i said we'll all know that the errol spence call out was a fallacy because you can't tell me you want to fight errol spence jr and then you end up fighting Gary Corcoran. I mean, it's similar to Canelo in 2016. Canelo acted like he wanted the Golovkin or he wasn't, you know what I mean, was down to fight him. But then you fought Amir Khan. A welterweight moved him up. You fought Liam Smith, who nobody really had heard of. So that showed me, for whatever reason at that time, you guys, top rank, gold, I mean, Golden Boy or Canelo, didn't want to fight Golovkin. This is the same thing. You don't call out Errol Spence and then turn around and fight Gary Corcoran. It's my thoughts. Let me know your, your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.